so <laughs> last night I had a scout. They had a bear and cat at 11 o'clock. Yes, and I just woke up because I didn't sleep good after that. And I had to pee and I was scared to go. Yeah. He wasn't. No, I got out and peed right after I. Yeah, that was crazy. So. And then he was, I think the bear must have went down to the next camp because probably, what, 10 minutes mm -hmm. after. Like, I literally just woke up and I couldn't see anything. Then after um, he was in our camp, was she? It could have been a girl. Whatever. It could have been a girl. It doesn't matter. Then he or she went down to the other camp because they were screaming down there. It was quite exciting and scary. That's scary. I was scared. And it rained and our tent looked terrible. Like it looks like there's stuff all over it. So, anyways, the bear in camp. No. Yep. Bye. We'll see you. Bye. So, we decided to push on given the circumstances with the rain and the forecast for more rain tomorrow. It has finally stopped raining, but I just thought this was such a pretty section through here. It kind of reminds me of Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's real foggy and it's just super lush. It's so pretty. Um, the trail is great as far as um, they do such a good job keeping it um, where water doesn't hold. They kind of have these little runoff cut every now and then where water can run through because it has rained on us all day long. We've been soaked. Um, so anyway, it um, is beautiful and the sun's coming out a little bit and so we've decided to push on to a place called i think blue ridge gap maybe and it is an additional six miles um on from deep gap i'm not for sure the total knowledge on that but i mean it's going to be pushing eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, i don't know maybe 14 miles today i'm not really for sure um anyway so that's what's going on just keeping on. All right, so all day yesterday, it rained on us, like, the entire day. And it wasn't just sprinkled. It really poured most of the day. So, um, all of our group had decided that um, it was our last night. And instead of getting our wet tents out and dealing with wet tents, that we would all kind of disperse and do whatever we wanted as far as going somewhere to sleep. So, Ron and I went to around the Ben Hostel, which is in Hiawassee. Mm -hmm. And it was Hostel awesome. Hostel around the Ben. What up, did I say something wrong? Around the Ben Hostel. Yeah, Hostel around the Ben. And it was great. It was a good night's sleep. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can wash your own clothes. So my clothes smell so good and fresh. And we just made some coffee. We're meeting back with our group at eight o'clock. And we're gonna hike the three miles into the line and then the three miles back out. Yep, we were gonna do it yesterday. We talked about possibly doing that, but we added um, six miles on yesterday to the um, to the hike. Yesterday was supposed to be kind of a short hike. Then today was gonna be a longer hike. But since it was so miserable and they're also calling for rain again today, we decided to go ahead and just push forward. And um, basically, we got to the very end of that trail i don't remember the name of it do you what where we got out at oh blue, yeah. gap, blue, ridge gap. blue ridge gap and then there's it's only three more miles in so when we finished we only had three more miles to go to the border but you have to backtrack and come back three more miles and so we all agreed that like nobody really had six more miles you know so today we will meet them and we will hike in. hike in hike out hike and in. head home um, so, like, the original plan had been to, we were going to get to the 100 mile mark, mm -hmm. and we still have time, logistically, let's see, that would be, like, maybe... Three to four days. Would it be that long? Mm -hmm. Three or four more days? We could do it, um, but my daughter had a change of plan, or our daughter had a change of plans on something that she was going to be doing for school, and um, she ended up getting a better offer for something this summer, a program 
and she's gonna be leaving like in a couple of weeks where she was supposed to be gone this week right now. So we really didn't feel bad about being gone the rest of the week, um, but she's home and we wanted to get back home since she's gonna be home. So that's why we're heading on out, but I don't have any regrets. No. On no. not doing 100. I mean, we've done like How many miles? 88. Yeah. 88 miles. Right. So I think it's important to leave on good terms and leave on your terms and leave mm -hmm. happy and leave mm -hmm. the trail happy. And mm -hmm. I know I'll be ha I want to get home to her. So that's more important right now to than 100 miles. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to get the get to the border. That's going to be good. Yep. It's exciting to yep. knock out Georgia. Yep. Thrilled. Yeah, I guess that's it. I'm the one who talks. I know. All right. All right. See y'all. See you. Bye. Yes, we're so glad y'all. Okay, here. the gang is all here, <laughs> and we have these great <laughs> friends that are <laughs> gonna you, help you, us. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You you want to take your picture up there. Thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> they said Georgia looks a whole lot like North Carolina. I have a suspicion it does. Here we are. Woo! Okay. Here, hold oh, it. Let me you have your it. camera, Daddy. She's going to come back and get a picture for us. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, I don't oh, think this one was on here when it we was, came. It, it, it was new that's this year. Said, yeah. Oh, that's great. There he is. She's going to get everybody. She's going to get everybody.